Alright. Let's, let's continue. Uh, I guess, yeah, there's gonna be another investigation, little like part, and then we're gonna do some more court stuff later on. Let's go. Let's find the true culprit. It's not, um, it's not Miss April May, but it's someone else. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's very dank. It's really quite moving. Not. You stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. <laughs> no, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So... Why is it you wish to ask me then, hmm? For starters, how do you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> I don't know, I think it's... well, anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it's pretty hot that she's super psycho. Anyway, sorry. I just... I got, I got a thing for Yanderis, okay? A real pro, or maybe you just want to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. I guess he's not Yander. It wasn't another word for like, you know, a cutesy waifu, but then they're also psycho. It's like Yander, but Yander is only if the reason they're insane is because of love, right? I guess it's more like Yangire or Yangare, Yangere. It's like, it's like that, except, you know, they're just insane in general, just a psychopath. <laughs> anyway. Um, I mean, we can talk. I don't know if she's gonna tell me anything. She seems like an accomplice, so... How about the man who stayed with you in your hotel room? Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe you've had something to get her to talk. How about the wiretap? You placed the wiretap on his phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold or so criminal. Um, well, tapping people's phone is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? Crap. This girl is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so... angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeder scum sucking lawyer. B bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Well. Hey, I'm an attorney! Guess what? I I really hate your guts. Get lost. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, she's not gonna say anything. Uh, yeah. I need. I well, I need something to convince her to talk to me. But well, we. I don't think we have anything here. So I guess we gotta go somewhere else. Uh, I guess reconvene in our law offices? Let's think of something? I don't know. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Hmm, okay. No, uh, I think, yeah, maybe it's, we don't get anything. Hmm, are some of the files missing? Maybe I'm imagining things. Hmm. Hmm. Guess I have to water it now. Okay. Yeah, nothing here. Um. Maybe we can go here? Oh yeah, we want to look at that, maybe that screwdriver, or I don't know. Oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Ah, uh, rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. 
I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, uh, you are our honored guest. Please, let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Okay, well, we can talk a little, I guess. What about Miss May? Oh, her? Sir, not the bow, 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 but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think that the most suspicious person here is this guy. Well, I want to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... danger. Ah, there we are in a total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that, that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Hmm, a photo. Well, what's up, Pentro? It is Phoenix Wright time! We will find justice. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle. The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great! Whatever floats your tea set. Okay. Hmm. So we need to bring a photo for, to him. Because he can testify who the man in his hotel is then, right? Because he checked them in. Uh, can we look at this again? There's still, still, still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Uh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's said to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy is serious. I don't believe it. You know what I imagine is, you know, the reason probably this thing is so here, probably the, the artist didn't want to like draw on the scene, you know, didn't like want to Photoshop this out and put back the drawer in. So most likely, instead, they just put dialogue that says, Hey, this is the reason that's still there. Uh, Pencho Stella, is this the first complete case? Uh, I mean, we did the, the technically the first, like, actual case is kind of like the case, um, with Larry Butts, you know? This one is technically the second case. It's called, uh, Turnabout Sisters. It is, like, I guess, the first complete case in the sense that it's like a full, you know, episode. A full case of, like, investigation scenes and everything. Yeah, two... Oh, nice weather. I guess I clicked on the window. Ah, yes, we plan to install the telescope in that window, of course. <laughs> Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view to, to to a kill. You know, it's looking at us, though. That's our workplace. <laughs> Just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, ho. I say it was more than serious. I want to investigate the, uh, the wine, actually. Bottle and two glasses. Why is he cleaning up? I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. Okay. And bed. Simple bed. Okay, nothing new about that. Okay, well, I guess examining these parts didn't do much for us. Present a photo, though. We don't have a photo. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, we're then about to go somewhere else. The only place we can go is here. Oh, I see something in the screenshot there. Where's where's the painting? It's gone. Wasn't it very expensive? He didn't want to sell it, right? Yeah, it's gone. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? Hmm. Anything new in here? Like an ebony case, or I said ebony, no, it's ebony, yeah, ebony. <laughs> yeah, the, we did the, the tutorial case, now this is the actual, the real deal. It's a mahogany, it's a desk. What's this picture? Hmm. Oh, no, oh okay, I thought I clicked on it. Click on it. Eh. Who was this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. 
Now nah, we're just gonna leave. No, uh... Hmm. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere before. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. Okay. Sure no one will miss just one little photo. <laughs> Literally stealing evidence. Hmm. It's a valuable, valuable clue though. Okay. Photo, another photo. Oh, swap photos? Uh... I mean, probably need the photo. We, we need, probably need to show the photos to different people. I don't know why we need to swap the photos, but I guess. I guess I don't look at the other one, actually. I mean, that's a man. I can only assume. And who do we need to show photos to? Well, he was asking for a photo, right? Let's present it to him. You know who this is? Now take a look at this photo. Well, that's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Well, it really does feel like a detective game, though, because, you know, as far as I know, lawyers don't tend to, like, investigate scenes like this, for the most part. Like an actual detective and everything. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Oh, without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I run on a... A f uh, a feed of it? A fit of it? <laughs> a feed of it. I don't know. I actually never said that word out loud in my entire life. A fit of it. A fit of it? I mean, I assume it's like a, I guess, like a testimony, basically. He's gonna write testimony swearing that's that's him. A fit of it? A fit of it. This guy's way too excited about this. Well, why not? It's better than nothing. Well, sure, why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write in a, f a feed of it, sir. A feed of it, a feed of it. From henceforth, I we known as the bellboy who swore the feed of it. Just hurry up and write it. Okay. So we know, at the very least, we've confirmed that that's the man. Okay. Hmm. I mean, yeah, we could use that. Go here. You again? Can't you take a hand and stay gone? Hey, the only... <clears throat> Excuse. Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. Oh, that does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> well. well, I guess we're supposed to present the uh, bellboy's uh, fit of it. Uh, I, I wonder what happens if we show the photograph, though. She was, will, will she say anything? Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you... Aha! Uh -huh, a reaction. Oh, this is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? What? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Uh, you have proof that was him, hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. So close. Well, here you go. This is the proof. Did you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy is a fit of it. It tells us everything he saw. I, don't, I still don't know if I, I'm saying that right. <laughs> a fit of it. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. I'm gonna push her hard. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though you should have been a witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Arr, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. To lie. It's great to be alive! Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <clears throat> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the Information Gathering Conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red, White, and Blue? Information Gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. 
I don't want to end up like her. Well, it's oh, it's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, unless... Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May can have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Okay, discard a fit of it. Hmm. Guess that's it. Ah, uh, let's see. Anything else that we can show? I actually wanted to swap the photo, actually. What the heck is that love for? Oh, oh the photo's gone! Ah, oh, I wanted to, like, show the photo to other people, but I guess not. We missed that chance. Oh, no! Ahem. Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Uh -huh. you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial. He was there. Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through Mia, maybe. It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. With the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I, well, I... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather give you give me some information. The photo's gone. I wanted the photo! Oh well. So, you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Well, if you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Ah, uh, right. Uh, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just... I need more time to think about it, my boy. It does seem troubled by something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. Well, the other day I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on that wall. Pretentious-looking? Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, uh, yes, well... I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. I, uh, sold it, you see, yes. That's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. Yeah, the last time we were here, he said he didn't want to sell it. In the first place. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't. I... Okay. That's super suspicious. Uh, da, da, da. Hey, here's this photo I stole from you, by the way. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once. I'm just sorry to have taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know. Who is this man? Who is most likely in April May's room the night of the murder? What's that you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? Why has him so flustered, I wonder? I... I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. Hmm. He's fallen silent as a stone. A rather large stone. I guess I should return that photo. Oh, we lost the photo. Guess we don't need it. Hmm, anything else? I don't think anything's relevant, really. I guess we have to go now. Nothing else to do here. The only place we can go is Blue Corp. See who this Mr. White is. Oh, there's the painting. There's the painting. The CEO's office. What's with this surreal decor? Welcome, please. Furnish me the title of your pers pers 
Personage? 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 What the? Your name. What's your name? I was just incredibly. <laughs> okay, I remember this guy now. Yeah, well, incredibly asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Incredibly? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp, you know, Corporate Expansion Official. Is that what it stands for? I think it stands for something else. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So, I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You run an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation of why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have of a man such as myself? Yeah, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Well, first of all, got everything. Impressive line of trophies. Special runner-up, best participation, cooperation reward, special good try prize. Hmm. Judges and special. Statue of a man holding up the world. It's Atlas, isn't it? Mr. White. A truly a work of art, but probably too butacious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butacious for just about anyone to appreciate. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My my. It's quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, you see. Well, does its sleek rounditure not inspire you? Oh boy. Alright, here's the, here's the painting that was supposed to be in Grossberg's office. Hmm, haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Hmm. Herm, herm, herm. Top floor of a 20 story building. Quite presidential. I think that's all. All we can see. All we can examine. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone the legal methods. It is ineffable that she will do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has said on the record that he doesn't remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'll be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why did the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Hmm, yeah, he would be a witness if he was in that room. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts... To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. Hmm. Well, what kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Uh, in case you are wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Okay. 
There's something that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you now fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Ah! Ah! What did he do? He's. He punched me! He just literally just oro 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 me! With his stand! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Wait, compensations? Comprehension? Anyway. You came here from Grodyburgers, I presume? Miss, Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him. Why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, Skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. Okay, he literally just punched me in the face a few times. And we're just gonna leave. Hmm. Ah, my badge! Okay, no. That never works, apparently. Let us go. Let's go back to Grossberg and ask why you sell that... Why did you sell that painting? Huh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jumping Jehoshaphats! Or Jehoshaphats? Jehoshaphats! Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm, I'm not seen out yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him, that much is clear. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. You get went to sleep, why was that? Poor girl. Okay, that's the same, I guess. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. My boy. I can't wait to bomb some dodongos. Anyway, uh, a big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. They're lovers! I mean, I don't know, is that true? Oh, he's blackmailed. Well, giving you information? Eh, I don't know about that. I mean, if he's benefiting. At the same time, though, he is genuinely worried about Maya, right? So I don't think he's evil. So I can only assume he's being blackmailed. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This is maybe the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? 
Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in fighting people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. Name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand a defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has the information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? Nani? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Hmm. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the shorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Mi Fay? Indeed, she was Mio's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the request of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her the fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. In that case, the DL6 incident. Hmm. Why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. The one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. Oh, you were the one that leaked it out. And made a whole, you know, like the deba debacle about the whole thing. In secret, they began looking for the one who showed them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he see fits. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have re uh, recorded something of what she found. Hmm. Well, I guess we have to go back to the offices. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine the murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be some clues. Maybe I should have another look. Well, I noticed Phoenix said something about something missing here, so... Well, all the cases the, the, the Chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Hmm. Is there a DL, you know, DL6 file? Maybe? Or maybe A to I? Let's see if there's an A record in this file that catches my eye. Oh. <laughs> A, B, F, Misty Faye, that's Mia Maya's mother. Hmm. Take a look. Sure. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words. My mother vanish. Or rather, well, okay, well, yeah. That was the sentence that she said or something like that? Yeah, that was the mother that said that. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Her mother said that she failed the Faye clan or whatever. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. Well, you know, isn't that... that's pretty OP, isn't it? The fact that she can just, you know, just find information just like that. Using supernatural powers. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Oh, the record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Okay. What else? 
J the S. Let's see, J through S. Nothing much. Skim. Ah, uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part is here at the end in S. Suicide? Hmm. She has a collection of suicide reports. It's politicians, policemen. Hmm. I was writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Okay. Arguable politician suicide. Word white is written in pencil at the top. Well, we found what we needed to do, or what we needed to find, rather. But, uh, well, let's check this one as well. Anything interesting here? W for white! The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Hmm. Well, the fact that it's missing is quite suspicious, isn't it? Well, where do we, where do we go from here? Back here, maybe? Show him the newspaper clippings, I can only assume. Well, I found this in Mia's files. So, she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Oh, not a bad idea. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it. Anything else? I don't think we have anything else to show, huh? Okay. Um, did we miss anything in the offices? I don't think so. There's a check mark, check mark, check mark. That's it. Okay, where do we go from here? Hotel? Hmm. That boy seems to be out. The sound of water is coming from the shower. La dee da, money making, money making, I got the money making blues. Something. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I don't think we need to find it. There's, a, there's nothing else to examine here, I guess. Gotta be thorough, though. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe back to the detention center. Well, apparently Miss May's in questioning. I doubt they'll let her let me talk to her today. Ah, oh, well. Thing here, I guess. Can we go back to Blue Corp? Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer. I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident might occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. You know, he may, yeah, he may just like murder us right now, I don't know. I think we're past needing to talk about April May. I gotta put this guy on the spot in quick. Hmm, what's the matter? You seem distressed. Okay, we don't want to talk about Miss May. And I have the murder. Yeah, okay, that, that, we can't really ask that question. Can we ask about this? Okay, so we can't just ask him. Now restrain your mirth, my friend. We are just... You, it's okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan sense of humor, but I'll think less of you. <laughs> I guess we need to present something. I mean, obviously the thing that connects... Uh, connects him to, you know, blackmail is this. I guess we'll just show him. He might just, like, take it, rip it apart, and punch us in the face again? I don't know, but let's see. Mr. White. See this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how... I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Well, you blackmailed him, right? Obviously. 
Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Oh, wait a second. Mr. White. You're right. I need to be investigating the killer. Because... You are absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I've found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. Hmm. What is this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't none of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Fia, Miss May, or I keep saying, Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir. Ah, Butts. Harry Butts. R right, actually. Phoenix Wright. Uh, my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts, uh, Butts was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Ms. Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into the custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Well, I guess we lose, we get arrested, and we spend our life in jail. Forever. Oh well. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's gonna set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Well, just now, yes. It's all thanks to you, I guess. Well, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but I guess we're on the other side this time. It's in the same background, though. Ah, <sighs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. Now you! 
This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Help me break out of here! Come on! No, uh... Well, you can't really defend me. You're not really a, a lawyer. You're not trained to be a lawyer anyway. So, I guess, just cheer me on. Well, you can cheer me on. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Well, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me. Huh? I better get, get a uniform and some pom-poms. <laughs> He's serious. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I'm kidding, it was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding. But, thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Oh, just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Being in a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Hmm. Get some lore. Almost all finish in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. To be continued.